No, it's not trash. All right, so I watched Avatar 2 two nights ago. Wait, four nights ago. <laughs> so I have been waiting for this movie for, for 13 years. So when Avatar 1 came out, I was eight years old. And Avatar 2 came out when I was 21. So Avatar Avatar sequel was one of the things, one of the movies in my entire life that I thought that's never gonna happen. But then I, then I kept up to date with it, and then I saw news of it being made and all that, and all, all of the planning phases that it went through. I kept up with it ever since, and I was like, dude, that's still so far away. Like it's never going to, it's never going to happen. And goddamn, it did. It, 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 it came. It came. I'm so I'm so happy with the result that Avatar 2 has given all of us and it was a spectacular visual spectacle. And when people say that it was yeah, 3 hours 12 minutes, but it felt like 1 hour. It, it didn't even feel like 3 hours. They're not lying. I was so immersed in this movie. I completely forgot about <laughs> the planet I already live on and I was immersed in the world of Pandora and I do have Pandora syndrome. It's a thing, trust me. I haven't really watched anybody, any movie reviewers videos on this on this movie because I just wanted to kind of, I, I didn't want it to influence my answer. I have watched Moist Critical's Moist Meter. I might even just say the same things that he said because I have the same feelings about it. And every word that the movie said really connected with me. And it, it was awesome. It was amazing. There were so many badass moments mixed with, with uh, character, character world building, uh, character development and all that stuff. All of those story words. It was amazing. And, and, and they did good with fitting all of that into the movie. Like if the movie was an hour and 50, like I sure they, sh they could have cut some things out, but I'm pretty sure that the director, the, the director's cut will beg to differ. If there is one, it's going to be like a 20 hour movie or something. <laughs> I doubt it, it but no, this is a joke, but yeah, dude, it was amazing. Cause I, I feel like that the fact that the avatar, ha that the fact that the, the fact that the way of water is three hours and it felt like one hour is absolutely spectacular. I mean like waffles, my, my buddy, my buddy waffles videos are three to 10 minutes, and those feel like three hours, which is truly spectacular in its own way. And obviously for this movie being filmed in 2017 and having it be released in 2022 and having it feel like it is something that is truly ahead of its time is absolutely amazing. And I love that about it because this was filmed in 2017. Imagine what Avatar 6 and 7 would will be like, because those are gonna be filmed with cameras that are not as old as the ones that were in 2017. I mean, sure, James Cameron could probably just ask for a camera to be invented for these mo specific movies. I'm pretty sure he did that for the Avatar movies. Uh, but yeah, James Cameron has done it again. He has done it again. Avatar 2, one of my favorite movies of all time. Absolutely beautiful. I forgot to mention that I cried at least 10 to 12 times and it was awesome. It, it was happy tears, sad tears, sympathetic tears, empathetic tears. <laughs> All types of tears have been drained from my body that day. Um, I watched it in 3D as well. This was one of the only movies. I can't remember the last movie that I watched in 3D, but it's been a while. I doubted it was Avatar 1 because I'm pretty sure I watched a, a lot of other movies that were in 3D, but this movie worked being in 3D. There were parts like I'm not going to get into spoilers because this was in the trailer when Neytiri was she had her bow and arrow and uh, there were these leaves in front of her. The fucking leaves in front of her like were blurred, but also 3D at the same time. And I just thought that was impressive. There were so many impressive parts that I don't even want to get into, but Jake's character, it was so refreshing to hear his voice again, man. It was so refreshing. It was actually so refreshing to hear everybody's voice, but Jake, Man, I miss Jake. I miss Jake so much. And getting into like the lore of Avatar and how, and the Na'vi people and just exploring Pandora, going to the water tribes. 
of Avatar. It was great. You just thought about the last airbender just now, didn't you? But no, going to the water people, and then there's gonna be some sky people, probably. There's gonna be some space people. Oh no, there already is sky people. The villains, the humans are the sky people. It was amazing. I loved it. It was such a beautiful movie. Oh my God, I wanna go watch it again. Sully's stick together. Um, I'm sure it'll happen, but I hope that Jake is better in the next movie. Um, I don't want to say why, but I, I hope that he is a lot, like, cooler. He just, in this movie, he just kind of felt like, it just kind of felt like he was, like, uh, off to the side. Um, but then again, he was in the middle of, uh, practicing his, his water riding and all that stuff, and we had to see the stories of the other characters and all that. I really don't want to get into spoilers. I don't want to spoil it like I, like I spoiled the entire freaking movie of A Quiet Place. Um, I don't know how to do movie reviews. I just want to sit down and talk about it. But uh, I think that this is how I'm going to do them from now on if I do do movie reviews. But yeah, Avatar, The Way of Water was amazing and i truly recommend that you guys go watch it if you like movies and 3d this movie was literally made for 3d and the first time you watch it is meant to be saw seen in 3d so it's gonna be up there with my top favorites and i hope that it's up there with yours let me know your thought on the movie and uh whether you liked it or not I'm sorry if this video was a bit weird wonky not make any sense but it i was truly in awe by the end by the time the end of the movie came the last 45 minutes to an hour of the movie was really fast paced because we did like switches between sky people and navi and it was like seeing what they're doing seeing what they're doing and it, ju it was just really well organized and i really liked it but then by the end of it it was so fast paced but at the same time it felt so slow because i needed to pee really badly by that point <laughs> my god was that the best bathroom break ever <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I felt really good after not only because I <laughs> Not only because I used the bathroom, but because I finished watching the greatest movie of all time And I bet it was well worth the wait I think and I can't wait for Avatar 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 if they do make that I heard stuff stuff about that, but I can't wait for them all and I want to see how this story ends. I really love it. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe for more movie reviews if you want. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. Beep Tweetbot. What the heck was that sound? Dude, I look like the fucking guy from the Hunger Games. <laughs>